Recently, Leonardo made a big upgrade to its image-to-image -image feature, now calling it Image Guidance. This upgrade hands you more control and customization when you're creating AI images. Alongside that, they added some neat new control net features like sketch, line art, and QR code generation. In this video, I'll guide you through the concept of image guidance, showcase the various options available, and walk you through the steps to use it. I'll also explain the availability of each option. To try out the latest edition, go to the AI Image Generation page. In the past, you'd find this tool on the left under Image Generation Settings. Now, locate it next to Generation History under a new option called Image Guidance. Click on that. For users on the free tier, you can only upload one image. The other three won't work. Drop or upload a source image into the image guidance box. I'll use one here of a busy city. Next, pick an option from the drop-down list. Let's start with image to image. By the way, the choices you see in the drop-down list depend on the model you've chosen. I'm using one of the latest SDXL-based models. If you go for an earlier generation model like DreamShaper, you'll get more options. A crucial setting is the image size. When you upload a reference image, Stable Diffusion warns you if the size doesn't match your choice. Set the right size by clicking this button. Always pay attention to getting the size right for better results. The strength slider decides how closely Leonardo follows the reference image. Higher values make the new image resemble your reference more, while lower values make it less similar. Don't forget to add a prompt. I want my cityscape to resemble the style of Vincent van Gogh's famous Starry Night painting. Now let's generate. To see the results, switch back to Generation History. There, you'll see what Leonardo has created based on your reference image. And there it is. I think Leonardo did a great job generating my image in the style of Starry Night. Experiment with the Strength Slider to find the right balance for how much you want the generated image to resemble your source image. All control net features operate similarly. Simply choose the entry you want from the list. So, for the control net options, I'll keep it simple by explaining each option and showing you my prompts that I used and the generated images. Line art is a cool new control net feature that turns any image into a drawing. It's like an outline of an image commonly used in comics, cartoons, or for making coloring books for kids. On the left, there's a photo of what seems to be a Snow Queen from the community page. I used the prompt Line Art and Leonardo created the drawing you see on the right. I also tested the prompt Pencil Drawing. The Sketch option turns a sketch or scribble into a finished image. It's handy for images where you want the AI to follow a specific composition. For instance, here's a scribble of a cat that I used to generate the image on the right using the 3D animation style model. The prompt I used was a cute cat sitting on the fence. Another example is this architectural drawing of a house. I had Leonardo transform it into a beautiful rendering of a modern house in the woods. QR Code to Image is a control net feature that turns a QR code into attractive images that can still be scanned. It lets you customize them to fit specific visual styles or branding, making them more than just functional. Simply upload a QR code image, which you can generate from websites like QR Code Monkey. For instance, I had Leonardo create this version of a QR code with the prompt A Beautiful Green Caribbean Island. Here's another version that depicts the QR code as an old Japanese town. One important note, 
To ensure the generated QR codes are scannable, I found that you need to increase the strength slider to at least 1.5. Anything below that and the codes may not scan. This control net feature works with black text on a white background to influence image generation. It lets you create stylish text art. Here's an image I generated with the phrase artificial intelligence using the prompt brick wall. The strength setting is crucial here. Anything below 1.5 doesn't render the text properly or it may have errors. Here's another one with a jungle theme. However, it's worth noting that I couldn't fully integrate the text into the images. In this regard, Leonardo falls short compared to tools like Adobe Firefly. Pose to Image is a control net feature that recognizes poses in images and uses them to influence image generation. It's handy if you want to change clothes for a character or replace the character while keeping the same pose. Here's an image of a young man in a tuxedo. Notice how the image maintains the same pose as the guy on the left. And here's another one of a girl standing on a surfboard. Once again, the pose stays the same. Pattern to Image spots patterns and tries to recreate them in your pictures. It works well with bold black and white patterns like the one on the left. For instance, I made the image on the right with the prompt a blue lagoon seen from above. Here's another example using the same pattern to create a cityscape at sunset. Depth to image in ControlNet is a feature that looks at the depth of an input picture. It uses this info as a guide to add 3D effects to the output image. You can enhance the three-dimensional aspects of the same image, like in this example of the Giza pyramid. Another option is to use the 3D features of a reference image to create something entirely different, as seen in this picture of a modern glass structure. But check this out. My favorite is using the Giza pyramid to make an image of a wedding cake. Even though the theme is different, the same 3D structure is kept in the generated image. The normal map in ControlNet looks at a flat surface figures out the direction each element should point and gives you more control over light reflections. It mimics where reflections should be. This is handy for highlighting the main focus of an image. Check this out. When I used the an apple prompt with the normal map option, Leonardo completely changed the lighting while keeping the apple's shape intact. In another example, my apple is in the spotlight and once more it changed the lighting while keeping the apple the same. Edge to Image in ControlNet spots the edges outlining an image and uses them to create a new one. It's handy to alter details in the image while keeping the overall structure or even the facial features. You can switch up colors, vibes and more. Take a look at this picture of a camera on the right. I altered the color and vibe by asking Leonardo to create a pink camera in anime style. The overall outline of the image, however, remained unchanged. In a similar example, I crafted a ninja image from a picture of a woman warrior. The outline remains the same, but Leonardo goes beyond copying the woman's pose. Every other element on the screen, such as the sparks and fireballs in the background, gets replicated in the image on the right. There's another choice for Generation 2 models called Edge to Image Alt, which works like the regular option. It creates an outline of a reference image using all its edges for the generated image. However, it gives smoother edges and better results. Take a look at what this alternative feature did for my camera using the prompt A Pink Camera. In another example, I made a house made of candy. If you're on one of Leonardo's paid plans, you can use image guidance to combine multiple images. 
This is handy if you want to create an image using various control net features, like using edge to image for the outline and then adding depth with another reference image. Here's an example. I have a QR code and I want to turn it into a scannable QR code resembling a jungle using QR code to image. If I generate it with just the QR code, it looks flat. So I add an image of a jungle to the second image guidance box choosing depth to image. Make sure all images are the same size for the best results. Now the generated image has a more three-dimensional jungle, but it's not scannable. I have to increase the strength for the QR code option. To add color, I include another image of a field of flowers using image to image. After another round of generation, I get a colorful image, but it's not scannable again. Adjust the strength to make it scannable. As you can see, it takes some trial and error and a few tries to get what you want. In another example, I used an image of a river through a jungle for depth and a field of flowers for image to image. With the prompt, a beautiful lush jungle. Leonardo created a colorful imaginary jungle. Here's one more using QR codes. I wanted a QR code resembling an old Japanese town, so I used two reference images. The first was the QR code and the second was the outcome of my first QR code generation. Reusing that one added more depth, resulting in a QR code with much more depth. If you're on the free plan and still want to try this workflow, you can opt for an iterative process instead of uploading four images at once but using the image guidance option does save a bit more time. Image to image is accessible for all models and price tiers, including the free plan of Leonardo. For control net features, let me break it down. All control net features, except the alternative edge to image, work with fine-tuned models based on stable diffusion version 1.5, you can find the version in the model card. The alternative edge is exclusive to fine-tuned models based on stable diffusion version 2, like Leonardo diffusion or vintage style photography. For version 2 models, all control net features, except QR code, line art and pattern to image, are available for all plans, including the free one. The newest fine-tuned models based on SDXL, such as Leonardo Vision XL or Leonardo Diffusion XL, only support edge-to-image, depth-to-image, pose-to-image and text-image input for paid plans. Free plan users don't have access to these features. And uploading four images into image guidance is also a perk for paid users only. I hope this video has provided some insight into the new image guidance feature and taking your AI art to the next level. Stay tuned for more in-depth techniques and further exploration of Leonardo in the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.